Oh my god, we're fast on footage. Look how fast it's going. I'm Josh Jefferson. <laughs> right. Um, hello everybody, welcome back for more. Let's be the listeners that I'm a drawers mask. I am Hunter, the one who needs no introduction, and however, the person here is the one who needs no freaking outro because I keep cutting them off. Yeah, I know. Stupid Hunter. Yay, I'm silly. With your long, with your long outros. Anyways. Um, when I was off screen, I discovered that that platform means something and that Link can't jump for shit. Yeah. Clearly. Well, Link kind of blows at jumping. Yeah, it's cool. It's funny, it's funny, because me and my friend used to play Ocarina of Time all the time, and that's, we would just, we would just pester Link. We would just say, oh, Link fucking sucks at jumping, and we would, I don't know, we, we did this whole thing. And I remember when I played Super Smash Bros. for the first time, where Link can actually jump. It blew your mind? It it blew my mind. That's creepy. <laughs> you know what would be interesting, though? If they ever made another Smash Brothers game, which, please, God, don't. We don't need another one. <laughs> three is enough, people. Just just calm down to three. They will. I know they will, which scares me. It's probably going to be like... If it's a trilogy of games, and they d said they're not going to make any more, and then they make another one, and it's going to suck, usually. <coughs> Indiana Jones. <laughs> you know it's true. Nah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so as you can tell, so, this, video's, this footage is fast forwarded. Yeah. And this door leads there, which we will not be going to yet. Let's see. What, 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 In this room, there is a barrel, and it does a roll, and we cannot break it. No barrel roll! Die, 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 die. I love it, like, I swim into it, like, I just charge my head into it, it works. After punching it several times, it doesn't work. After shooting it with my razor sharp fins, it doesn't work. But no, just ram your head into it, and it'll break. I love that logic. Yeah. I also love the logic of my stupidity here. There's another platform you can go under. Except it leads to the same place. What? Yeah, at least the same place. And then... The stupid Choo Choo decides, I will keep you down here. Is there a Choo underwater? Yeah, because it jumped down with me. Why is it underwater? I mean, how is it surviving underwater? I don't know. It's 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 gelatinous goo. I, I would imagine it doesn't that, have like, lungs. It doesn't have lungs. It does not need to. No, but I mean, I mean, it would melt into the water, wouldn't it? Like if you dropped a like a Jello pack into the water, you would think that it would kind of deteriorate into the water. Yeah, that's true. But then again, is this water hot or cold? Is it yes or no? Are you in or out? Are you up or down? And watch this. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that's the long face the... up close. Why the hell did you do that? I don't know. I thought I would be able to... Like, I didn't half expect it to like come that close, but it scared the living crap out of me. <laughs> and now what are you eating? I am still eating rice checks. You got a problem with that? Maybe. Also, yeah, you have to be an adult, the adult Link model, aka Mikau, to get up there, which is like, Stray Fairy! Hi. How many Stray well, Fairies do you have now? <sighs> Okay, I have eight and I need six left. Wait, no, seven. Shut up. You have eight and you need nah. Oh wait, I have nine. Wait, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't see that. Eleven. Number. We have eleven and we need four more. I don't know where I lost count, but I think it is in the room where they're like there. Okay, there's like in a bit. I will be doing like the, like the off-screen research thing. We're in the map room again. Wait, 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 wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Research! Ah! Yes, I teleport here. Well, actually, that wasn't the research time. That teleport! Was, that was just me thinking of things and Link somehow managing to get up there. I am an idiot, so don't criticize me because I completely missed the fairy that is in here. I, mean, I know where it is now, but because of, like, it says that it's on this floor. Which is like the the uh, second floor according to the map, and it says it's here, which I don't seem to find it. Where is it actually? Well, you'll see when I get to it. Oh. Which is in a very very long time period. Oh, you don't do you get it in this episode? I get it in this video. Why do you? you just, uh, just wait. I do cutting. Oh. After right. long walking around and try to find it. 
killing these fish. Because like, I, I, I think then that you have to kill all the fish to make the chest activate. But what I don't realize is that the fish come through the uh, the little tunnel there. So they keep right. coming into this room. So that's not the reason. And I realized this like a minute later. Not a minute, like two, 20 seconds. And then I decided to cut. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. My logic will be correct. I, I have a question. If you did some cutting and some speeding up in this episode, why didn't you cut and speed up, speed up the episode where you fucked around in that one room? Because I'm weird and I don't... You Don't question the logic of my editing. <laughs> I usually only cut when I feel like I... Okay, I, I'm just... When I spend enough time doing one thing, like right about now. Ah, see, you know that platform that we rode on? Yeah, basically yeah. the chest was under that platform that I tried to look for the chest on, and there is the thirteenth stray fairy, which was. Well, shut up! <laughs> I can't count. Deal with it. You and can't count. Well, neither can I. So, All right. I so mean, now, that map, now, so now, that, now is the time where I go to the next stray fairy and do research teleport. Poof. Yeah, there was a blank spot there, I don't know why. And I was- Yeah. I'll probably just leave that in, or extend the fighting or something like that. You will, you will leave it in. Yeah, long story short, I'm basically here, and now, here, is where we do things. And we pick up the striffer, and it comes into our hands. What? That says it's the 11th one. It says the 13th. I know, the text is hard to read sometimes. It, it looked like 11th on my end. Yeah, well, that's the quality of screen share, and so deal with. And dear God, no, 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 no. It's gonna bring me back into this room. Oh, and you keep hitting that thing every single time. What's up with that? I don't know. But then I get the smart idea of a derp. I have an ocarina. You know what I can use that for? Teleportation. Teleport to the to the front of the temple. Duh. Yes. Well, that's not an ocarina. That is a Fishbone guitar. Yes, the one that you could win at one point in time in the Nintendo Power Contest. Oh, that's cool. I only wish I could have won one because that would have been awesome. Oh, indeed. Yeah, see, so the Song of Soaring takes you to the uh, the beginning of the temple. I didn't know that. I didn't know that the Song of Soaring teleported to the beginning. Actually, I, I, I'm i not sure if that was. if I figured that out by myself or through one of Big Dip's videos. I know it was one of the two. Or maybe NCS's. I don't know if he uses that. As a thing to get to the beginning, I think he might have, but I can't remember. Well, wow. oh jeez, I just realized if I am going to do Ocarina of Time and the Water Temple, oh god, the teleport, oh god, the teleportation things. The Water Temple, on honestly, the Water Temple on Ocarina of Time isn't that hard for me anymore. I've done it so many damn times that it's just not difficult anymore because I know where I have to yeah, go. Yeah, but I've only played the game like twice, all the way through. Oh. Where there's this one, I played it for like four times. Well, the Ocarina of Time was like one of like huge childhood games. So. But surprisingly, I didn't play this one. It's just too bad because this is an awesome game. It is. It is quite. Even though it doesn't feel like the, it doesn't feel right, and people say they don't like it because it doesn't have Zelda. You know what? Neither this did Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening didn't have Zelda. Neither did you know um, yes. the Oracle games and. Uh, and I'm not even. Know. Phantom Hourglass barely even mentions Zelda. Even though Tetra's in there, that doesn't really count. Yeah, you know? I mean, some of the best Zelda games don't have Zelda in them. Maybe... I, I'm wondering if Skyward Sword probably won't even have it in there. Because judging from the preview, it doesn't look like it would somehow tie into it. God damn it, I go back to this room. Again. I, I kind of don't like how the, st the idea of the story of Skyward Wait, Sword because... Oh, okay. Because basically they said that it comes before Ocarina of Time. And everybody for the longest time knows Ocarina of Time as the first hero, the hero of time. Ah, uh, yes. And then all of a sudden Skyward, this Skyward Sword Link comes out of nowhere and blows well, that guy the, out of the, the water. The idea of like connecting the sequels, like certain sequels together is pretty easy. With the small except, well... Okay. We can, uh, okay, I, I know this is going to be like super controversy, but nothing really happens much for the remainder of these videos, anyways, for this one at least. So, what I'm thinking is that, like, for Wind Waker, you know they take place in the general time, same general time period, almost, practically, because Hyrule's underwater. 
and it's all yes. C. Well, for Phantom Wait, Hourglass, it wouldn't work at the least. I'm not sure about Spirit Tracks. I haven't played it yet, so. Phantom Hourglass is a direct sequel, too. Yeah. Um, okay. Even though that. Yeah, yeah, it is, because, uh, Tetra. The, yeah, so. Yeah. And Spirit Tracks. Spirit Tracks is, at, is technically a direct sequel to Phantom Hourglass. Except it takes place 100 years after the fact. But it takes place 100 years after the fact. Yes, so. and in that game, uh, Link becomes a train engineer. Mm, yes. Which is weird. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, Phantom Hourglass. I'm not Phantom Hourglass. Um, Spirit Tracks is the worst Zelda game I've ever played. Ah, that's not it's fun. it's not it's not a bad game, but it's definitely not the best game than the, the best Zelda game. Oh, you mean so in comparison to the other ones, it's not the yeah. best one. You're excluding the infamous CDI games. Yeah, well, those aren't like official, are they? They weren't made by Nintendo. Nintendo gave them. Nintendo gave uh, Phillips permission to use the characters. Oh, well, I don't know. They're stupid anyway. They don't count. In your mind, or anybody else's mind. So yeah, there's the boss door, and then I think, okay, there's... One more strafer in here. And I completely lose it as to where it is. But That sucks. But yeah, I, I like Phantom Hourglass because you got to customize your ship and make it look pimp. Yes. Mine, my, my, I had one that looks like a demon ship. So it's basically Satan's boat. The, the thing I like about Phantom Hourglass is that it's completely the the puzzles are completely different because they it's on the DS. It's a touch so you, thing, yeah, yeah. So you get all these cool puzzles that you know yeah. the story necessarily doesn't matter really make sense. And same with Spirit Tracks. I hate the story in it and I hate the train driving. The train. The final boss is a train. I've seen the picture. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. The and uh, but but overall, the puzzles in those games are just brilliant. Anyways, guess what? I'm gonna do research. Poof. And I'm back. See? Look at that. See? The research? That was me. Whoa, you did research, man. That was crazy. I know. It's revolutionary. So let's stop talking about the controversy of the Zelda time Lime and Spirit Tracks, because now there's going to be a bunch of rage comments in the comment section saying, Oh my god, you hate Spirit Tracks. You were a Satan. <laughs> there's a lot of people that hate Spirit Tracks. I don't hate Spirit Tracks. I just... I, I picked it up, and I played through the first couple temples, and then I just... I don't know. I couldn't get into it Send anymore. Send it to me. No. I'm sad. One, one of these days, I'll, I'll eventually complete it because I need to. It's the only Zelda game in existence I've never completed. Oh, wow, that's creepy to think that. Well, and I'm an idiot, and I think that the thing is under there when it's not. And then I get the bright and brilliant. I, I, I because it says it's under a platform, and I didn't bother to look for what the color of said platform was. So I think it's under the platform where the boss door is. Oh yeah, by the way, dawn of the second day. Ooh. All right. Let's see. So yeah, I kind of an, I am an idiot for like a bit, and then I realize, oh wait, maybe I should look on the other side. Oh no, wait. I jump in the water, and then I turn my camera around. It's like wait, it's not there. I turn around. I think. Wait a minute. I swim over to the other side, and snare fairy. Lol. Wait, what? Just wait a minute. You'll see it. I'm sorry. Well, maybe right there, if you see? don't fall off the pipe. See right there. Yeah, I see it. Get on the. the problem was get on the pipe. Damn it! All right, grab, collect. Well, I mean, in all fairness, the uh, the plat the, the 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 platform that you were talking about, like the where the boss door is. Yeah. That's not really a platform. It's more of a cliff. True. You got a point. No one of us such an idiot doing that. Anyways, guess what we're going to do is now is. Fish. What are we going to do now, Fish? We're going to open the bus Amazing. I know. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to kill ourselves. Oh, shoot. <laughs> no, I guess I didn't want to do it. And the hell? Do I get an outro this time? Maybe. If you can speak fast enough. <laughs> Jana. Seaweed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was random. All right. Was in my face. What is this madness? You gotta speak really fast, sir. Hey, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's 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 been Toronto Master Fisk. We're all getting the best of all the time. Let's have a little bit of 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 a little b